our, our desire to make this film came out of the fact that we wanted to bring home the reality of what soldiers go through in Afghanistan. That we wanted to bring, make the most visceral and experiential war, war film we could because we understand that you can't go to Afghanistan. And we understand that you need to see what these soldiers go through, that it should be seen, digested, and understood, in some ways honored as a starting point for this kind of discussion. And that my ideas and my opinions, my political opinions, are really beside the point. That I need to, because I would just get in the way of bringing you the reality of what, it, what was going on out there. So, you know, I mean, those kind of political questions for me to answer is really, that's for you all to work out. I mean, I don't. The reason why, the, well, there was, a good, there was a reason why we went into the Korongal, which if the question is that, then the reason why we went into the Korongal was because the Korongal was a side valley off a bigger valley called the Pesh River Valley, which floats down the, which floats down the border of Pakistan. And the idea was, we need to, the, the Americans need to secure the Pesh River Valley to stop insurgents bringing weapons and troops across. And to secure the Pesh River Valley, you have to secure the Korongal Valley. And so what they did was, in the beginning, when the Marines first went in there, they established an outpost, uh, the 10th Mountain went in, they had a company in there, eventually. It ended up 173rd had a company. And the idea was that more troops would be coming. But, as we know, resources were stretched. When we went into Korongal in 2007, the world was firmly focused on Iraq. It was very obvious to us at that time that the Afghan war had slipped out of control, something we now know to be true. And those troops never arrived to the Korongal. I think if you put a brigade in the Korongal Valley, there would be security. But a company couldn't do that. 